And, and it, but if you're not getting satisfaction, you call James Martin at the DP, and you or Randy Huffman, and you let them know that you're not getting satisfaction, and they will do something. Particularly now after the explosion, the the Marshall County explosion, you know they've done an investigation from of AB and they're they're starting to give them permits again, but oop, but uh, they will re they will react to you, they really will. That that's the reaction that you get on an environmental level. The DEP, the DEP literally could care less about your lease. They don't have a dog in the fight. They don't have their their net. They don't care if they pay you a million dollars or two. They do care if they're dumping water, or if they're or if they're contaminating groundwater, or if they're not complying with their permit, which is I think what happened. I think they I haven't seen a result of the Marshall County, but something happened within the permit that. that that wasn't that wasn't followed. So. Um, but they're the, they should be your again. If you're not getting something from a local guy or gal, you should call him. <clears throat> yes, sir. On royalty payments, who Ooh. measures that? Who measures, who measures it? The gas? Who measures the gas? Is the question. <laughs> the gas company. <laughs> now wait a minute. I'm sorry. Now wait a minute. Okay. Now we're talking taxes. Uh huh. Now, do they believe the gas companies when they're telling them how much they're going to give them on taxes? No. <laughs> Somebody they. Paid it used to be, and, and I forget the year now, but the um, it used to be that the the gas companies in West Virginia again um, would send in their production to the DEP and to the tax department, or, or we would we would actually send it over to the tax department, and they would just take it and run with it. Well then, and then probably 10, 15 years ago, the tax department started entering the data. And I think it's, na it's human nature that if I'm dealing with the tax department, I'm gonna be a little more honest than if I'm dealing with DEP on my numbers. I, I don't want the tax department messing with me. They didn't care one way or the other if DEP did. Because they pay the fine or they pay something and they move on. But when you see the DEP, there's a DEP website that has production levels and you can see where they drilled to and it, it just gives a whole bunch of information after they've drilled the well. It's, it's more, it's not lease information, it's well information. You can, t you can see what, what they filed, how much production they filed, and if you got a remittance statement or, or a whole year worth of some remittance statements and they paid you on 10 MCF and they filed 1,000 MCF, there's a problem. You didn't get paid right. That's just one. They didn't. They're. They're. They just didn't pay right. Neither yeah. did the state. Well. Collector yeah. I think that's something they need yeah. to put in. Well, and it, well, you can put in your lease. No, not in your lease. In the legislature. Oh. The legislature uh, those guys. There's none of them around here. Though. Okay. Is there anybody from the legislature here? <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, sir. A situation where somebody wanted to buy land uh -huh. that was not interested in the mineral rights of the land, but wanted to farm the land. Mm -hmm. And they found a hundred acres, let's say, a hypothetical hundred acres. <clears throat> Is that hundred acres, if the mineral rights and the gas rights have been sold off of that land, uh -huh. is that hundred acres worth less or more? The surface value of that land than it was before that contract was signed. Wow. Um, I would triangulate on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if if you don't ha if all you if all you have is the surface, you have less rights as a surface owner. The surface owner has less rights than the mineral owner. Typically, the mineral owner has a, is a dominant estate. So, meaning that the mineral owner has a right to come in and get his or her gas. Um, what you run into is the, as if you're just a surface owner, is, is, is a gas company coming in and the first time you even know anybody's coming is when they start putting flags up and running down your driveway. You know, they're literally, I mean, they, they feel that they, they may have a right to do that, I don't know. But I would think that you would have less value if you don't own the whole thing to the, to the surface because you've lost 
you've lost some control of it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. You've lost that control, and they can come in and they can do things on your surface that you may not want them doing. And it's real hard. There is a surface rights group in West Virginia that is very adamant. I mean, they're very aggressive. Um, from a mineral rights or from a mineral ownership standpoint, we, again, we want them to drill wells. From a surface owner's rights group, they could care less if wells were ever drilled because they don't get anything for it. You get a little bit of surface damage when they drill well, $1,500, $2,000, and then they want you to go away. So you're, it's just I would think there would be less from a surface. Yeah, I had. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Two questions. Okay. okay. DPS told me that they cannot give me free gas on my property for the wells they drill because it's too wet and you can't use it. Okay. That may be true. I mean, that may. Okay. Second question. Um, he was asking about wet wet gas. There's wet gas and and on wet or dry gas. Some of this wet. There's some of the the. I think they're finding that the Marcellus shale is somewhat wet. And it takes a different process to 